Yeah. I was, thro- I was yeah. wondering about <laughs> pavement. What are those other guys in pavement up to? Spiral stairs? Yeah, spiral stairs. Yeah, I was thinking yeah. about spiral stairs. What is- <laughs> we have to get He's some info on that. Let's get him on the show. Yeah. Is he I mean, if you can get you know Stephen on, you can sure. I don't want to be come. disrespectful, but I just like some of those '90s bands that you know had a, a, a moment of success. <clears throat> By the way, I was watching this uh, thing on YouTube that was a little interview with They Might Be Giants. They were talking about Birdhouse and Your Soul. Doug, you must not have liked them. I did. Okay. But it was interesting because they were. Uh, I saw them live once. Nice. That I Flood them, record yeah. is one of my top records of all time I actually i mean as far as like stuff i loved when i was a kid we don't know. <laughs> and i listened to it fairly recently and it's like kind of a perfect record mm-hmm. you know like every song is super catchy it sounds great it's got this it's own it doesn't sound like anything else sometimes i think about their lyrics and stuff because they're kind of i'm your only I friend i'm yeah. not your I only like, friend but i'm yeah. a little growing friend but actually i'm not actually a friend but i am there's a secret my well and i am music feel, bells. I, I, like I respect it a lot a bird i'd be fired if it. that were my job <laughs> What about this one? I'm your only friend. I'm not your only friend, but no, that's no. That is the same song. I, the same song. <laughs> <laughs> it goes. Uh, I came back for a bag of groceries yeah. after having them. <laughs> you know that one? Uh huh. Now I'm dead and now I'm dead and I'm. Now I'm dead and I'm. Can't. Uh, what happened? I can't remember. I can't remember. Here it is. I'm just going to do it because I returned a bag of groceries accidentally taken off the shelf before the expiration day. I came back as a bag of groceries accidentally taken off the shelf before the date stamped on myself. And then did you do that part? Did a. Uh, did, did a large procession wave their torches as my head fell in the basket? And was everybody dancing on the casket? Now it's over, I'm dead, and I haven't done anything that I want. Or I'm still alive, and there's nothing I want to do. I mean, that's pretty cool. Yeah. It's pretty cool that I did that. <laughs> pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> but they were saying Dude, how they were one. like... Um, they were saying how they were like signed to this major record label, Elektra, <clears throat> mm-hmm. and were and were paired with these two producers who were like, they had just done Morrissey's album, and they were like, they were like top producers, to and worked on that record with them because it was going to be like a, a big release on a major label, and that they were they said that these producers were so great, they were really interested in doing weird stuff and trying weird things and doing like backwards drums and. Um, and that album, they were saying, was part of the uh, the Columbia Record Club. Remember that? The oh, Columbia yeah, Record they put Club? the penny on the... Uh, and that was yeah. a very tough thing to get on. You know, it was like filled with just like Madonna and mm-hmm. Aerosmith and whoever was huge. And that record, Flood, got put on their list and was one of those like penny records yeah. you'd get. <laughs> Ten... Uh, 10 CDs for a penny. Yeah. And so that was interesting that they, that we, and if you listen to it now, I mean, it's a fucking, it's a, it's a weird record. 